All right, our job today is replacing our HVAC module, control module, temperature control module, whatever you'd want to call it. Uh, this one has an issue where the little LED lights in the display burn out, making it hard to see them at night. Mine has started doing it. So I went ahead and got a new one. It's a fairly simple, straightforward job. It's not serviceable, so you really just have to replace the whole assembly. To start out, you just need the uh, trim removal tool. You can maybe get by with just your hands, which will be a little difficult. Maybe a screwdriver, which could do damage. So I recommend this, but maybe not completely required. Uh, this will just make sure it gets done without damaging any of your trim pieces. A ratchet. I use a quarter inch, uh, an extension, and a 7 millimeter socket. And the 10 millimeter. This is just to get your negative battery cable off. Um, it's pretty simple, like I said, so let's go ahead and get into it. So this is why. This bulb is out, this bulb is out, and on mine, occasionally, this one flashes on and off. There's really no resolution, so the best thing to do is to fix it. So I'm gonna wait for the daylight, and let's get it done. As is customary with any job, especially that involving electronics, we'll disconnect the negative battery terminal with our 10 millimeter wrench. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our nylon tool start popping all of these out you pop them out from starting from the bottom kind of give it a little bit of a twist now you don't hear it popping because i've already started it it's a little difficult to do single-handedly but you get the idea now since i've gotten some of these brackets you can see them right there already broken out with my tool i'll go ahead and finish up using my hand let me just Put it back there and pop the last of this out. There we go. Bink. And there it is. Now you can visualize where each of these little tabs is. You just pop right on in here. There, there. Just kind of as a side note. I was realizing as I was pulling this off, I was like, why is this whole thing moving with it? Well, for some reason, it looks like I'm missing a bolt in here. I don't know if it was never there. It kind of looks like there was never one there. Or if somebody was in this truck before. But uh, regardless, um, just wanted to make that note. All right, so we'll go ahead and we'll get our 7 millimeter socket. Take these bolts out. One, two, three, and four. If you have a fourth... Okay, so after I've unscrewed and removed all four of these, or three in my case, what you need is you just gonna pop this off here, here, make sure you take it out evenly, pop it here, and the whole thing will just pull right on out. Now don't pull too hard because there's lots of wires and stuff holding these in. You don't want to break anything without looking. So let's go ahead and get back there and take a look at what's going on. So as you notice, it's taking the vent out with it. So on that side, so we'll pull it out slowly. And note all the wires that are holding it on. So you got this one here for the screen. And this one here see it is for the climate control module here it is HVAC that's the one that we're gonna replace and you got this one here is this one the USB I believe that's the USB but regardless I'm gonna take all three off so I can take this entire panel out okay so I finally got the first cable out the trick to it is it's actually on the underside. Here's the connector part under here. And here is your tab. So what you do, I actually ended up, I crawled down here on the ground face up so I could get my thumb onto this part right here. It doesn't take much. Get your thumb on it, give it a push, and then pull. And then this, wherever it went, there it is pops right out and it actually came out pretty easily you just have to be able to uh, loosen this Come on, focus on 
inside by pressing this. Now, if you got enough strength to be able to get it with your finger, you know, maybe you can put your finger here and then pull the cable out with your other one. That's probably the best way to go. The next one is gonna be this one right here. I'm gonna do that. Since I have a little more room, I could rotate this thing to show you exactly. So it's right here on the back part of this. You press. You hear a pop and it comes right out. So on this one, you're actually pressing this right here. There's not a lot of room, but you can see how you press it and it pops right out. And it's gonna be the same for this one, which is your actual module. Press it just with my thumb here and it comes right out. There you go. Your whole module is off. And you can replace what you need to from here. Looks like you got a few screws to unscrew some sort of hex or torx bits uh, to get the screen out if that's what you're working on. But me, I'm just working on the climate control. So let's get that in the garage and get it worked on. All right, here's the assembly. Flip it over and you'll find one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of these tabs that need to come off. Pretty simple. All right, I'll go ahead and show you. So what I did was I started with this one here. And as I go, I press from the bottom end, break the tab with my finger and keep pressing from the bottom and breaking it with my other finger. I think I can do it one handed at this point. Got that one, got that one, and then the last one is here. For my vehicle, it's 842-63101 is the GM number, AC Delco 15-74877. Um, before you ask, I don't believe that you can just switch out. If you do not have the auto and the controls like what I have, um, or if that's what you have, or if you have something different, I don't believe they can just be interchanged. But here we go. Here's my new one. As you can tell, it's pretty much identical to the old one. Go. Go. All right, so for the new one, installation is reverse of removal. Put it in. If there's any dust or anything dirty in here, I would recommend cleaning it up while you got this thing off, but it's not necessary. Put it in. Each of the tabs should close themselves back in nicely. Et voila, it's all good to go. Let's go ahead and get it back in. Hopefully it's a bit of an easier time getting the clips back in than maybe you had getting them out. So let's go ahead and get that done. I'm gonna try to get these lined up and back in. Sorry about that, you get a better position so you can see. Gray one, remember it's your module. Just click it right back in there. Click. And remember, this little thing here goes on the bottom. And then... I didn't hear a click on that one, but it is in. So. And then last was this short blue one, which was the pain. This might be the USB. I don't really know. Anyways, there's only one way it goes in. Same thing. Complicated side down. Click. Goes right in. Okay, now we got our connectors in. Look down here. Make sure all your wires are tucked in. Nothing hanging down. Click there. Click there. Click there. And on the top. And then we'll get our bolts in. One, two, three. Four. All right, now for tightening them down, don't go too much. Just snug it up a bit. You don't want to go breaking any plastic or anything. It's not like your wheel's going to fall off if this isn't tightened. So just tight enough. I don't even have my hand at the end of the wrench. Just tight enough to make sure it holds it in snug. And then last for this assembly, grab a trim piece 
and pop it in. Terminal. Spooky. So I'm just here verifying everything works. Up, down, off, on, auto, auto. Looks like I got my uh, LED light here working. It's tough to see during the day, but it looks like all lights here are working as well. Um, so, let's call that a job well done. And the best part of all, you get these little things to remove. Oh, yeah. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Um, or, maybe you don't even have any problems with your LEDs. Thanks for watching. See you next time.